Morning, folks. Lester here. Uh, Lester and Trixie here. Mm. Listen, cold, wet. Cold and wet is the worst kind of weather for me. I, like I said before, I don't mind cold as long as it's dry and there's sun. But a cold, damp, wet, same thing, I guess, windy, is just not my kind of weather. And the reason is, it goes right to my bones. I, uh, I'm not joking when I say that. I could never live in one of the New England states or maybe even around Washington, Oregon, because England, there's no way I could ever live in England because I just can't handle this kind of weather on the long term. But today's not about weather. It's about doing chores in the weather. So you guys come with me and let me show you what happens on a day-by-day, -day, rainy day chore routine. Yeah, that came out right. Or did it? Anyway, you guys come on. Don't make me work alone. Not in this weather, please. Not in this weather. I normally like to feed in feed troughs, but uh, today I will be feeding on the ground because when you have rain, you don't want to put your feed into a feed trough. The feed troughs, even though they have little holes cut in the bottom where the water can drain, that water will still accumulate around your feed. And then when your feed gets soggy and wet, it kind of expands and it will end up clogging the little holes. So. I will go out. To, look at that lazy. Look at that little guy. Why are you in the shelter and the ladies are out here fending for themselves? And why does, uh, and you need to stop picking me. My hands are cold today. My hands are cold. All right, so a couple of things I'm just noticing. Pearl has poopy pants. That's not good. Gracie and Santana are sitting there nibbling on hay. Well, so it's, stop biting me. That's so annoying. I love you. I do. I do. I'm going to feed you right now. But Tex has gone to the, he's like, uh-uh, it's cold weather. I'm like, daddy, man, I would never live in the New England states. I am not living in New England for nothing. There's no way. Uh-uh. Well, I'm not trying to move anybody. Don't worry. Anyway, that's what I'm going to feed on the ground today. Y'all know that I've done it both ways. There's reasons for some, sometimes it's lazy, but sometimes there's a reason for it. Today, there's a reason for it, okay? This ain't, this ain't lazy. There's a reason. Let's go, Trixie. Ever since I witnessed that little incident a couple of days ago, now I'm scared of Tat. I am secretly scared of Tat. Tat, if you'll move, I'll come in. Babies, y'all have to move. I can't come in while y'all are. Okay, so, well, that's just great. All right, we got the Argo in neutral, and I guess I will have to feed in the troughs after all because Tat's not going to move until I feed. Neither is Wanda. Y'all give me a second here, please. Alright, so it was not a pretty feed up. I semi, I will say semi got it in the grass. But listen, I was a little bit overwhelmed. Alright, it's windy. My bones hurt. You know my bones are hurting. And uh, a lot of folks, the reason I'm highlighting and showcasing this little girl here it's because a lot of folks wanted to see if she has a bag. And I said, you know what? I could describe it in words, but it's easier if I just show you. And the answer is no. No bag. Now, Juicy here, on the other hand, I can, y'all can see for yourself. We got a little development in there. Here's the one I worried about, though. I love her so much, and I worry when I see stuff like ribs showing is one thing. Trixie, be careful. And then when I see she has a poopy bottom, that really worries me. So uh, I will say that I don't think it's the feed because they eat the same thing pretty much every day. But uh, the first thing that you're gonna do is get a dewormer. I'll get another dewormer over here and I'll dewormer. And then we'll just have to go from there. But uh, I think step one is that you're aware of it. It's kind of like when you have a when you have a problem. You have to number one be aware of the problem. Well, I'm aware that we have a little problem with Pearl. I always worry about Pearl. I will say that I always worry about Pearl. I think you guys know that sometimes you have babies who you have to worry about more than others. I should have turned that off. I was gonna drive through, but now I got a lot going on here. I got a lot going on here. Y'all. 
Okay, that part is good. I'm sorry, it's gonna be kind of soggy. If you eat fast, you won't, you won't have to deal with the sogginess too long. No, they got right in my way and I couldn't come through. And if you can't come through, then uh, I was forced to pour it out there. And over here, there's no grass to pour it in. I don't want them trying to pick it off the, out of the mud. So they're in feed troughs after all. Tina eats alone. Cat, this big galoot right here, scares me though. I told y'all ever since the incident where I saw him, well, perform his little ritual with Wanda, it worries me. Oh, look, he's eating with Wanda. How cute is that? I'm gonna bring Dixie. Where are you going, Cat? I'm gonna take Dixie inside the uh, pasture over here with the birds and the cows. Now, she can't stay here. This is only a temporary move while I work out and about. And the, sweetie, is there, there ain't no way we can get past you, baby. Tat, oh no, don't tell, oh no, that's the, oh, no, Tat, don't do, oh, Tat, not you. Tat, not you. Guys, oh, not Tat. We're not ready for that yet. We, Gracie, help us with Tat. He's only six months old. You all want to hear something sweet? Trixie. Trixie's the only one that hangs out with Daddy all the time, even in the cold and the rain. All of the other dogs, and I, I mean, we got a lot of dogs here, y'all. Christmas, Ritzy, Millie, and Fiona are all laid up in the shop. I'll show you in a little bit. I'll show you. But on these kind of days, they just want to lay up. Not Trixie, though. Look, she's like, come on, Daddy. Let's go ahead and feed up. Let's finish the chores, Daddy. I guess she got to keep Daddy moving. Or if, if I get stiff, if I, if, I, if I sit around too long and I get stiff, then we're in trouble. I'm kidding. I'm not going to get stiff. All right, we got goats and uh, our other birds who are pastured, Carl and Debbie. We're going to have to walk this over, though. You want to know who else doesn't like the cold and the rain? Goats. I don't guess the cold bothers them, but rain is a no-no. Rain is a definite no-no, and they will all go inside the wacky pack shack and hunker down. Come on, I'm gonna feed you guys inside. I'm gonna feed you in the hay, come on. Ouch, why did you do that? There's no need in all of that. So what happened was Zachary went to ram Huck and he rammed me in the knee. Just now, it was an accident. Okay, I need, I need, get, I need two hands. So they don't mind eating off the hay like this and they're fine. Be sweet. Uh, at least this gives them a, <laughs> oh my gosh. At least they have, they have a pile for everybody. But sometimes some of the meaner goats, which those two right there are my meanest goats. They're the meanest goats. They want to run everyone else away from the food. But uh, as long as they have a pile to go to, I don't feel so bad for them. Sissy's over here. Aaron and Zachary, two golden girls. Mr. Huck, come in and eat. Look, right here. Right there, Mr. Huck, look down. Huck, look down. Huck, there's feed all over the ground. You just gotta go find it. I'm not gonna have you eating in the rain. All right, next up we got Carl. Uh, listen, I am not gonna feed Beverly and Dixie until later. Uh, you guys know they can't have grains. Okay, so actually Beverly can, but Dixie can't. And there's no way to feed one without the other. It doesn't really matter how cold and rainy it gets. Carl can, Carl's anger and his, just his, his anger, he just, his hate, y'all. He just is consumed with hate for me right now. And that's, that's sad because I do nothing but bring joy in the form of food. Now, Debbie understands that. Why can't you understand that? Anyway, I dropped off feed in their trough so they're able to eat. Don't you hit that trough. He'll end up hitting it and knocking it completely off and make poor Debbie eat the ground. Eat off the ground. And she don't want to eat off the ground. She wants to eat in the trough. All right. If you're, if you're right now feeling bad for Dixie and Beverly, don't. Because those are vet orders. 
and really the only one you really feel bad for is Beverly. But my reasoning behind that, let me stand behind this wall so that's block off some of the wind. My reasoning behind it is kind of pictured when your spouse or you want to go on a diet. And sometimes you work on that diet together. Even though one partner may not need to or not want to, but they try to support you by dieting along with you. Oh, I just saw a limb fall. Guess where I'm going? I've just been told to give Dixie and Beverly a little bit of grain because it's going to be cold, really cold tonight. It's cold right now. It's going to be colder tonight. And uh, they're allowed to have a little bit, kind of get some calories in their system, some calories to help fight this bitter, this bitterness, y'all, this bitter, this bitter cold. Here it comes. Oh boy. Uh, oh, I was also told to drop off two plates of green hay. So they can have that. Now, my question is, how am I going to carry all this and my camera, Trixie? How do we carry all this together at the same time? Standing here in their loafing shed is like night and day from being out there in the elements. But look where they want to stand. Now, I have green hay right there. I poured their grains right there. Yet, they both want to stand over there. Now, that could be for two reasons. Number one, they just they don't mind the elements, which we know... You know, these animals are more adapted to this kind of stuff than what we as humans are. So, it doesn't bother them as much. Or number two, Dixie's afraid I'm going to do her feet. Because a lot of times when Jamie feeds her, she also does her feet. And she might be worried about that. <laughs> okay. I want to thank you guys for hanging out with me during a rainy day feed up routine. And I will say a couple of things about routines in general animals just like children they need consistency they, they do they need that to uh because otherwise it throws off their entire system and so despite the weather rain or shine you know hot or cold you have to go by and do what you do during the times that you've allowed to do it and so i know that a lot of folks are concerned i'm sure i'm probably going to have folks calling for you know shelter and stalls for all the animals and whatnot but guys just remember that animals are conditioned to their environment a lot more than what we realize secondly uh, a lot of the animals like the birds would never go inside of a shelter never because they don't you know by nature they don't want to be enclosed they want to be opened and uh, but their bodies are conditioned for that they're not feeling the cold the way we are but uh we're gonna keep an eye on pearl because that's my biggest concern today is pearl Let your troubles fester. Come watch Longhorn Lester. <laughs> yeah, something like that.